you can actually get an international driver's permit also in 30 minutes. Trust you me, all in 30 minutes at the DVLA Prestige Service Center in Cantonment, near the Cantonment Post Office or by the Togo Embassy. The location is pretty simple. You can also call them on 0302-746-760. 0302-746-760. Visit the DVLA Prestige Service Center today and you will come up with a very prestigious satisfaction. Today, I'm bringing you a quote again from Dr. Mensah Otabel, and it says, don't get too attached to your past achievements. Always look out for the next challenge. And that is very inspiring and touching. So don't give up. Don't be too satisfied. Keep fighting and keep getting the best. But remind you that this is a dialogue. My name is Abedi Anim, and we're bringing you the show also live on our Facebook wall at Net2TVGH. Just search Net2TVGH and then like the page, follow us, and you'll get automatic prompt when we are on the show. We'll be right back after this break. Back to the dialogue. Today we are talking to Honorable Kofi Amwakohene. He is um, the sitting MP for Atebu Amantin, yes, in the Bron Ahafo region, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Correct. Yeah. And he's also a member of the uh, vetting committee in parliament. He's a businessman and an, an entrepreneur. So, yes, he has a lot of ideas. And he's also uh, very good with international security. So, yes, some of the issues bothering us right now, he has in-depth knowledge in that. That's why we're bringing him here on the show. But, yes, we've slated Thursdays for him. Naturally, originally, he comes on Thursdays to share with us happenings and his views. And so we have here Honorable Kofi Amakuin looking all great Thank in his you, African I'm way. Ready. I'm kind of jealous though. It's, it, it looks carefully printed. It's good to associate yourself with the young ones. So <laughs> that <laughs> you don't look that young. Yesterday, Honorable Ken also was like, when you rent here now, we jump over. I was like, of course. Uh, with us, then you are a young man, very young. Person. Oh, we don't look any. Age. I'm very old. You I've don't look at you. Before. Maybe you're taking good care of yourself. So uh, yes. It is too, but now I'm bloating. How are you doing, though? I'm very fine, my brother. And, and how is Parliament? It's like there's no vetting right now, so we'll be no, 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 for no, that. No, 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 we, We've been relaxed a little bit. Actually, we're recess, on right? recess okay. by resuming today. Oh, okay. We are called to attend to some business today. What, what is it, an emergency? It, says it is an emergency. It, are you allowed to say it? Uh... Or is this one of the yeah? It's it's the, no no no. It's an agreement that's supposed to be one of the trade agreements okay. uh, from the West Africa. Okay. And I think uh, they want to. We want may have to have the headquarters here, so we are wow. interested parties. Is that a good thing or a bad? Thing? It's a very good thing, of course. It's that's going to create jobs, etc. If we have the destination here, why not? But how can an issue like this security Ghana American deal come up and this can work all its way to the emergency seating that it's not out yet and you have to break it to us right now. What is happening? Is it that, they, like I always ask, the AMPP or the government is relaxed about sending out information? Because if oh, this well, is actually a good deal. Actually, for me, as I sit here, I have not interrogated what it is now. Okay. Uh, it's just but the general the idea. information okay. that I have. So sometimes you can't even go into the details until on this yeah, after. The details. Uh -huh. and in parliament there is a way to appropriately put a document before the you table. that is uh, when it's not laid in you can speak to that hand. document wow yeah wow well it looks a bit dicey and yeah. you, know, you guys have your measures at least and this has been in the newspaper headlines this morning and i know you <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were kind of laughing at Alec T. Jacobs and his blows and uh, the Sayu in NDC. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that makes you happy anyways, but you being a politician and on the other device or the opposite side, uh, how do you see it? You, at least NPP has gone through constituency uh, polling stations and now yeah, they are regional. Polling stations, done constituency, the region. we are done with the regional, regional. except one the I think northern region. The northern region. And then we will be going to the national. Okay. And it's, it's been somehow peaceful. It is. It has been very, very peaceful. But let me start with a quote in okay. Akan. Go ahead. I was laughing because uh, there is one great musician, Amache Dede. Okay. He says something that I want to quote him now. Go ahead. He said, was mm. mm. Literally, it means that you need to go you through. You need to cross my challenges. Yes. Before yes. 
you know, because when we started our the internal election, you saw and you heard a lot of things that comments that came from the opposition, the minority, yeah. all over. And I yeah. said, wow, well, this is something that we are going through. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing that you people we'll are going to go through. through. Yeah. So why don't you wait? Rather prejudicing yeah. uh, the outcomes of MPP and other things. But trust me, nobody mm. would have an election through these processes from polling station or in the place they call it branches and stuff okay. like that, that you will not encounter Challenges. a single challenge. Okay. And some even comes to strengthen the party. That is true. Some I was going to ask you, do you think because of their criticisms, NPP decided to be firm and go through it without much problems? Because, okay, we don't want to give our opponents any bullets. That is not it. Our party, in terms of democratic practice, is more formidable than the NDC. Hmm. I'm very sure of that. So, I mean, uh, if I should decode it, I'll say we've grown more to them Critic uh, understanding and the meaning more than the NDC because I mean, putting the two parties together, I mean, looking at the background, we are all growing, but I think ours is at a faster pace. So we understand some of this, and then we most of the time handle it at peace. And I, I think uh, it wasn't a surprise we got that result. It's a good thing that we need to build on. This brings me to the next question. Yeah. I've been asking every guest since Monday on this show, linking to what you're saying, does this feeling makes you think the NPP is more Catholic than the Pope in terms of democracy? Subjective, though, we are good looking at the yardstick because if you are con uh, doing a democratic analysis, you could only pick NPP and NDC as I speak now in Ghana. Yeah, the main, or the yeah, major the main, parties. Yeah, the players. And so, by that measure, I would say, of course, we are. So you're, like, you're, you're trying to tell me right now that you are even trying to be more democratic than even the word democratic. Like, trying to, to, to be all known as the only party that understands democracy than anybody, than even people who brought democracy. Your question is detailed. It's, it's packed. And I could sense if I'm right where you are coming from. Exactly. Because let me, let me, let me just make it simple. Yeah. People are calling MPP. They don't listen to their people. They want to be all nationalistic about everything. They want to be all I think, I think I think my guess was right. You're right. I know. I have understood the question that yes. you posed to me. For that, I do not agree. Because I think that uh, in Ghana, much as we want to lead democratic processes mm -hmm. and practice, we still have to c step down a little, understanding who an, a voter is today, mm -hmm. so that we can communicate as such mm -hmm. to reach them. Mm -hmm. I will use uh, Honorable Bwacheja as an example. Okay. Just about three months ago, this man was able to save Ghana from the energy sector projectively about $1.2 billion. How did he do that? I'll, I'll, I'll get back to okay. that, but let me complete okay, my knowledge. So if at one instance mm. he's been able to save this nation this much, and then we go for an election the next four years, and then we are voted out. Ghana would stand the chance to lose $1.2 billion again. Why? Yes, because effective governance, there is no doubt MPP has proven itself. Mm. Okay. So now, there is a sharp line in between these two. Okay. Okay. How do we maintain power? Okay. Sustenance. That is why sometimes people quote and call me think that my boss, Honorable Kennedy Japan, <laughs> is even a crazy person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you name it. it, it here. it was like You understand? Yeah. But you see, when an NDC person is communicating and you are, you, you, you are there, you may think that also the same thing. Yeah. That is this man 
in his right sense. <laughs> but you see, he's taking advantage of the populace. Yeah. Who cannot read and write? And mm. he knows by research that we have about 75% mm. illiterate. Mm. So he speaks to them, mm. not you. So they direct their way of talking to the majority you, you, you understand. of the people. So much as we want to uh, exhibit true democracy, mm. we should not understand the fact that the electorate mm. are all not the same. The same. And they are all not educated. Yeah. You understand? So that we should find a way, a balance yeah. for the elite class yes. and then and the, the other. The because yeah. each of them has a single vote, equally as myself and the president. Yeah. Okay. So we should curtail something that would also attract them mm. to their understanding. Mm. We don't just say that, yes, we travel out there and we see beautiful things. We yeah, want we to replicate it, yes. it is good. But where the application yeah. ought to be critically uh, analyzed. Yeah, that's true though. To so fit, yeah, yeah exactly. to custom, customize it to, to fit the, the people. people. Yes, that's true. Yeah, otherwise, you can do all the good things and, you and the vote the against you like yeah. we had it. We experienced it in 2008. People voted and less than three months they started weeping and crying. I, I think genuinely. I yeah. But we are gone. Yeah. And look at the mess that Ghana have had to today. We've gone back for I don't know how many years. Yeah. But the critical thinkers could analyze and let's see. Looking at where mm. President Kufo to Ghana and where we had gotten to through the turbulence of Hepic and back. Yeah. Yeah. got in our liberation and then we were moving very well and v at very fast pace in terms of economic management and stuff like that and look at where we are now, now we have a huge debt so please i would think that by your question yeah npp need to employ mm. consultancy service mm. from people like honorable dambuchi mm. And cool. But they already have them. So we, we, we have them. Them. You know, they are working officially and officially to look at where he's placed now. Yeah. He's doing different things altogether. Let's consult some of them. We have the men mm. to assist the party machinery that is going to come up. Mm. I'm saying so because we've uh, finished the polling station, the constituency, the regional, the regional almost done. But unless it standard. is uh -huh, crowned with um, the national crown election. with the national election, mm. so once we get that and the party machinery start working, mm. then we could employ these services to help them. We come out with a formidable plan. This morning I was listening to an argument by uh, a suggestion that was put across by uh, our veteran F. F. Anto. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I you think understand. I was also uh -huh. to that. Whichever way you look at it, not because I'm a parliamentarian, let's look at it well. Mm. When I was out there, I could not attest to the values mm. of the leadership, like Honorable Seche Mensa yeah. Bonsu, the Kennedy himself, yeah. uh, Honorable Amir Achireme, yeah. Honorable Ajua Safwa, and those people. You understand, but when I entered parliament, then you I realized that institutional memory yeah. is something that we ought to consider mm. and work at it as party. Yeah. So let's come out. Let's discuss this. Not maintaining every MP. Mm. Some are bad. Let's find a system that could help it and help the party. Mm. Because to some MPs, if me my constituency, if we should we could transfer or switch. MPs, because all that I want is good things for my people, mm. and I could get Honorable Kennedy Japan to come and, and, worry and uh, as an MP there, yeah, I would yeah. resign and give it to him. Yeah. Honorable Joe Weiss, so far as you understand, Honorable Smart Remy, yeah, you understand, or any other good MPs. Why am I an MP? I want to champion the cause of development mm. through the lobbying mm. aspect mm. for my people and give them a good service. So if I have somebody, and we must understand, we live in a world, we have categories. Although we have blood, even blood that we say that we have, we have all blood, we have we types. types. Yeah, you that's, true, that's true. So for me, if I could get a transfer, but I would convince my people to get the best for them. Great. This week, 
I think Honorable Cynthia Morrison was in this chair, yeah. and we used you as an example. So now you're here, let me just state it. It came up that in MPP, some constituencies are just ready to take off some MPP, uh, MPs for being on the seat just for one term, and they're ready to kick them off. They are lobbying. Her situation was an example that she believes some, even some NPP people are working out stuff to pull her off the seat. Well, let me use the word pull her down. Yeah. And then I cited the example of you trying for five times before getting onto the seat. And then people are trying to maneuver their ways to get you off. Not even considering what you have to go through, the fights, the struggle. And I suggested that even it happens like that, you need the support of whoever wants to come to help the incumbent mm -hmm. to, pro to proceed and succeed in what he's doing. Then it makes way for you. Yeah. I will use Leonardo as an example. Yes. He played a very pivotal role in mm -hmm. President Kufo's very. administration. So when it got to his turn, I mean, all the indicators were like, okay, yeah. he's the right guy to go. Why is it not happening like that? Why is it not happening like that? It's something that we need to give, uh, consider it for now. I mean, the topic has emerged and people have started talking about it. I will want us to debate it. But me, as Kofia Mwakwene, I don't fear competition at all. And for me, if it's for me alone, I would have said, let's shove it. But I've given you an instant that I think that institutional memory ought to be protected mm. by the party. Mm. Not for my seat as an individual. Mm. Because I have I've told you, I've been to election for about five times. Yeah. So, I mean, when I win, when I lose, and I've lost more. You've lost I've lost more four than, yeah. times, and then I won only one. That is the last election. Yeah. So, if there is an experience to be written, you have I more. have a lot of. Yeah. And on each count, after losing, I'll just pack off, go and work, and come back again. As simple as never give up. I've never begrudged anybody mm. in my constituency because he voted for me or, against or not. Mm. Let me give you one instance. There was a time in an election, I had a small boutique for everybody. Mm. And for me, I don't, I don't, I don't um, uh, select people, yeah. presumably, who would vote for me. Yeah. If I'm giving anything out throughout my electionary practice, I'll give it to every polling station regardless of your party everybody and trust me that brought about this victory mm. and there was a time i had to give something small that i share at course and people who supported me were even angry because other people had been very selective yeah and they, they said why do I, I do i said no everybody is in that polling station here is a chairman or whatever by the service rendered to the party mm. you understand yeah so whether he supports you or not so yes, there was an the instant that president. after the election the people could not come to me mm. for that thing because they know i think their conscience conscience had judged them yeah so i after the election after the act i had lost you went ahead to give i to said them. they should i sent everybody of my in none of my campaign members would take the thing for them yeah because so I know that the, I the, had the to test. send it myself mm. because everybody thought I was a foolish person. That's a mark of modesty. Yes. And I went, and the guy just saw me and he was running away. I called him. <laughs> he wanted to dodge. I said, Come. So, oh, oh no, but I said, No, no, no. I shared this small, small things for, for everyone. everybody. So, this so, is so your important. name was in at the back of them. So, there. take it. Because you didn't vote for me. Doesn't shouldn't. mean that. Doesn't. And some of them. They will take it now. Game. I don't know what I would do that they would not support me. Mm. If even it's bad thing. Mm. Why? Because they've seen that I think far beyond myself sitting on the seat. Mm. You understand? So back to the whole issue. I would think that MPP we need in fact I've been very happy within these three weeks because our communication is rising is up. Boosted again, up yeah. And Why I, should I, it boost up after getting all these lashes and all these people coming up to say they are not hearing from them? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. you know, we had a meeting with the president. Okay. And then I think that's also a three weeks a little bit. ago. And yeah. from that time to today, it's been I'm helpful. very happy in terms of communication. Mm. Everybody, because we have the mind, the intellect. Mm. I mean, to defend this government. Mm. So why are we shoving ourselves, uh, allowing the media space for 
people, excuse me, who doesn't have substance in terms of uh, performance mm. to have dictate no to write home the about. communication uh, pays for MPP. No. But that could be their job. Yes, if they are saying it and we have substance. You uh, have more say. We, we have more say because we have a lot of things to show, Ghanaians. I mean, a lot of things. This government has done so well. So much well. Not because I'm an MPP, but I know what I'm talking about. And more things are happening. At this, uh, I think at the end of this month, first me, mm -hmm. government is going to launch a Nations Builders Call. Mm. And trust me, it's, it's huge to cater for the unemployed graduates mm -hmm. and these are things that it has never happened mm. you know we have done a lot of things as government looking at where we took the baton mm. from because sectorially every sector was indebted mm. and we've been able to cure it manage it some not fully and still have the cr have created the space mm. the spending space to spend yeah. and to we, 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 we come back on to this NHI so. is mm. that president was claiming one billion out of the 1.2 has been paid and then I was listening to an interview to uh, with the president of the private or SHS uh, NHIS uh, service providers association and he was saying this money yes has been paid but in installment and even the last few months 700 something was paid I can't get the figures right but he, he affirmed that it's been paid but not in bulk and others were using it in, the, in, the, in another view that yes it's not been paid and why is the service still not really really being rendered to the people so we'll come back to that i'm speaking to honorable kufia Mwakuhine. he is the mp for uh, atebu amantin constituency he's also a sitting member of parliament and a member of the vetting committee he's also an uh, expert or well known in security or international security affairs this is net 2 tv and you're watching the dialogue my name is abedi enim we will be um, activating our phone lines shortly. The numbers to call on is 024 550 And please, when you call, you are free to express yourself in any language. Uh, we will try and cope, but just turn down the volume of your TV set or your radio, and then we can have a smooth conversation. Honorable, um, sometimes we, we like to twist a little bit to Chi because of our Chewy people that we really respect their yeah. views and they also like to con contribute. Yeah. So, and this is going to the elections. They've not even started, and you can hear the unity work has been redesigned to, uh, to, to a level playing ground. And I, I really love this story the IPSA being named after the founder. Yesterday, I was listening to the presidents and he was giving a speech on that, saying that he would add the name of the founder to the school and i thought that was credible yes it kind of encourages People everyone to work to, hard to dedicate themselves to, yeah. to mother ghana not for individual gains yeah. yesterday a caller called honorable on this show and was requesting that he comes to their village to even build them one hospital and from the way he was talking and i've, I've forgotten i'll remind him later after this show it looks like they don't even have a cheap compound mm -hmm. And he was so touched and ready to do it. Yeah. But the part that the caller said was that even to name it after him, and I think that's what we should be open to. Yeah. You've gone to a lot of institutions and was what sought cards by da 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 in his president's name, minister's yeah. name, da da da. But there are entrepreneurs like yourself, Honorable Ken, and like the founder of IP UPSA, yeah. who left unacknowledged. And so it, it's a form of discouragement. stuff instead of building something that can go a long way to help Ghana yeah I think it's a good thing that the president has exhibited to show Ghanaians that for the first time we are thinking to reward our heroes and I believe that I have no doubt that under the leadership of His Excellency President Akufuado, Ghana will succeed mm. because these are the things that are well taught mm. and have a lot of wisdom yeah. in it. So I believe that going forward, and it's not this, 
I think we've done Ali Omaama yes. studio yeah. and all that. And President Kufo's time to... Yeah, he I started think, the Azumane you know, Osin Sports Stadium and all that. I think we, once we do that, and uh, the next generation come, they'll find out. And even it stands, it gives them the opportunity to interrogate what happened mm. and how. It makes the it history. Encourage exactly. Them also to work selflessly for mm. this nation. And of course, history was also come to capture the people who siphon mm. this country <laughs> and their, their <laughs> generation, their inherited generation. Would also I, I don't get what you're trying to say. Well, you know it because after, by the time that a uh, special prosecutor is done with a lot of people, they will also be writing history. We are going to die at certain age and then history will be written mm. you have a name tag to that history mm. and i believe mm. you've named your children after you if you're a good person and then when history captures you in a wrong way mm -hmm. people will grow to come and understand that hey this family remember this that that that, that. and then you have blacklisted your family entirely. Are you, so are you trying to, to warn other people to, to be careful how they're living their life? It's a good reason that we must live to uh, appeal to society. Mm. You understand? So I heard people say, so I can do anything that I want. I can yeah, do when you have the that. power, it's saying, mean, you can yes, do it. Yes, when you have the power, you can do it. But trust me, you may not be judged today. Mm. But history will judge you. And if you do good things, your children will just grow and freely inherit it. Mm. And they'll be proud of you. If you write bad history, your family will be blacklisted, especially with the politicians. Sometimes you'll fight your cause. You'll not get to any level, but with honesty and selflessness, the people will come, your inheritance will come one day. And then the people, your children, your generation will be blessed. You understand? So it, it is not all that you do today that you stand to, to benefit gain or, or benefit. gain. That's true. Uh, so we politicians, especially, we should be very, very careful when we have the opportunity. I keep saying that it's just by political expediency mm. that some of us are here. It doesn't make us the superhuman being. Mm. You understand? We have other intelligent minds mm. out there and even more generationally would have to come. So I think that uh, it's a good thing that the president has shown and I believe one day when he's not there, we will also be naming him after a lot of things because he's a good man mm. he's done well for this nation at least the savings from the energy you didn't tell us about that because i mean if you say honorable uh, i'm saying if you're working again but uh, uh, my, uh, Ga gas uh, price Jaco, yes was renegotiated okay and i think we were paying about 4.6 mm -hmm. and change and it's come to 1.8 and over a period of time, Ghana stands to benefit mm. out of just the negotiation of $1.2 billion. What are we using that negotiation, uh, that, that balance for? The balance, because we've got that deal, is the reason why we have been able to cut down the prices of energy. And I believe by the time it takes effect completely, now, any power that you use is cut down according to the measure that was put out mm. from, I think, 13, 17, 20, some to 30 percent. Mm. And by that, Ghana will stand competitive mm. to the Sub Saharan. Mm. And then uh, to inform the investors that this is a destination that is uh, uh, prepared for them. Wow. So great. That was the reason behind that. So I'll keep saying that and I believe that this government is good. We must descend a little to find out how we can also maintain the power yeah. so that we will continue under the leadership of His Excellency and his economic ma management to to be good for Ghana. Mm. Because we cannot and Ghanaians will never forgive us. Mm. But unless we sing the language that they can mm. hear mm. to maintain the power, we may end up losing the power and Ghanaians will not forgive us at the same time.
It's amazing Honorable Ken was here briefly yesterday and was admonishing the same thing. And you were also uh, more or less talking in the same direction. We'll come back and speak more into that. Yeah. But I want to tell viewers that this is Next 2 TV and you're watching the dialogue. We are talking to Honorable Kofi Amwakuhine. He's the MP for Atebu Amantin. And also he's a member of parliament on the vetting committee. A very, a very knowledgeable man in security and international security affairs. You can join us now on our telephone lines 0240-550-899. 0240-550-899. Also, you can send us a WhatsApp message and we will read them out. You can also send us regular SMS and it will be read out. Also, join us on Facebook at Net2TVGH. Net2TVGH. We're streaming this show live. Let me also remind you that you can get a prestigious 30 minute service at the DVLA Prestige Service Center and work out just in 30 minutes with all the excitement. You can actually trade in your foreign driver's license for a new Ghanaian one. You can renew your expired driver's license and you can actually get an international driver's permit in case you're traveling out of the country. The numbers to reach them on is 0302-746-760. 0302 0302-746-760. Zero three zero two seven four six seven six zero. Um, they are located at the cantonment um, DVLA headquarters near the cantonment post office or by the Togo Embassy. I think we have a caller on the line. Okay, we missed that. Honorable Kofi um, Amakwini, what is the the, uh, the government doing to make sure these messages go down to the people, that everybody gets? A piece of what the government is doing and to be able to communicate it to the people tailor the communication down let me answer a call and then when we're back we'll answer this question hello good morning okay i think we lost that caller we it's simple it, you know it's not a mistake on the part of the party mm. after you've won an election mm. What next is that the party internal structure mm. will start mm. rumbling because you everybody will want to positions. get his position confirmed left, right, okay. and they've taken a lot of people out, out of, of the party structure. party structure to be made the ministers and all the appointments. You okay. understand? Okay, let me quickly answer a call. I think the caller is back on the line. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, yes. Uh, if I do okay. Tell <laughs> So basically, now uh, for Pache, say, uh, also no one will Kasaka cry. Yeah, I think he, he really acknowledges oh, that. Wonderful. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Okay, Matilda, right? Yes, uh, Matilda. I see there are two words for Matilda. Let's say, Oh, 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 Oh. 
And the last person said, I'll pick you and I'll be the same thing. And I'll be quite one big And you're And last week, you do a friend. And I'll receive you do a call. And I'll be there. The point is, numbers, Nimpoya, I won't tell you. This is our computer. So it's here. Yeah, Mr. Sanchez, you're not a good friend. But I'm not a good friend. 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 I'm and then three days, we have an intro after program. I'm afraid. I've been entering the COVID, I've been a movie film phone. Yeah. And then after program, I'm going to say a switch off. And now I'm in San Carlos, and after program, I'm going to say I'm in San Carlos. Okay. But I'm going to say, 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 and every Japan said, and then someone came down the same thing. You cannot tell us the same thing. I'm going to tell you. 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 Every day said the same thing on this whole PT. So, oh, what did he say? 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 What did he so since you are no free power, Ghana bet me lose at least there one billion, one point five billion dollars. I think we go home. We need to go to the company and so many other records. We call the government and they don't work. Matina ho. Oh, we are farmers. Do you think that a farmer will be the more on our own? Or do you say Ghana bet me lose one point five billion? And then in our game home. And I told them where I would be a walk or two, no one like Jim or Shin, Joe or Pangu. Ah, I think it's not feeling comfortable with the job to not walk or turn out the new and then the big car. And no more, 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 and Issue no, I do it. Sir, you are from the show. No, 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 I told you that you're one of your regular callers, isn't it? I said, no, we're in one country, and then they're working in our mama. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, but we're dealing with the Alfie. Yes, but we're dealing with the Alfie. Oh, no. You're losing. Honorable. I told you that you're a drinker, but I think what she's trying to say is that we should get the messages down. Yes, sir. 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 I was so be a nyambo tre. We haven't failed as party, mm. but just as a real election, a year the party be brave. There's some of mine, mm. and until say be we this internal election, mm. party structure na you weak. Mm. What does it? I'm glad you said that. That's what you that's 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 that. said. Yeah, yeah. Now the constituents are not a starting Yeah. Who the one me answer? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, we've got to do the biography. The government should be able to get a free party on Monday. Okay, and you will say, Cocoso. Me talk also, Nana. Hello. Yes, boss. Me talk also. I'm one program to Kakra. Me talk about program, no so. I tell you, you will say, I'm going to 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 the yeah, NPC can be supported hundred percent because NPC is the one who 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 is the one Communication also improves NPP communication. Communication also gives you a cafe. Now, you can accept a woman and money back down. And that amount of class, you need to pass and to be a man of my banner. 
and you can be far in the only fair your first week and family made it. You can be far again for me and the room. Okay, you must tell me, I'm going to help a good form. And you have to try the form to move it. You can watch them. Yes, sir, that's it. Yes, sir, that's it. Didn't you do a tribute? Yes, yeah, I'm sure. Wow, but honorable, I think, sir, this, this are some things I like the fact that we reassure me, say, after the. Election national elections. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, because let's really, really believe and hope. Every, every office be a, from the national chairman mm -hmm. he's coming up with his program. Yeah, the national youth uh, yeah. uh, organizers, organizers, organizers no, the that. Sec everybody is coming up. General with their own plan. Be the planner or they so plans, that no. next election would select him. Okay, so collectively yeah, they will come collectively, to play and then the constituencies, you know, and they say or more. They don't have father. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. And to do an issue, Ukraine. Until fight. last weekend, the constituency is only a problem or regional. You are torn in between. Of course, your actors mm. near their door may come back at eh, baby. Mm. And to me, I have to have baby. And your chairman. Now, your chairman in the constituency we'll start as a chairman, yes. and, uh, and they will start working. That's true. So, and to me, we are region and so, uh, national, national and so, area. Yeah, we are. And the party for me now, but and even this three weeks, you know, your communication across the because we panic there. Mm. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Abidi. Yes, boss. If I me, I will come for enough. If I hear what you say, Abidi, I'm not even out there. I'm not doing. I'm not paying. I'm looking very, very good. Need that say, need that say. But then I'm not Ah, my baby, my man, can't stand back with me living now. We move crazy. You. Um, I am here and that. Opinion can be a poor ever child program, Mr. Ama, Okikan, Tema, Ever Boa, Dana Poor, any similar before any year ever finds excellence at the Dunkwa Kufado, Jenny to my power year. Um, and then I'm a power here. You know, I find let me say, be Papa ever back. My yes, sure, yes, sure, and people for my family that some more kind and was saying, you do not. There's Uncle Tony, I was saying, you know, not then find it. Ebeya <laughs> Yo, 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 I'll be the good news. Ah, Joe, so don't you matter that they have a voice in the middle of the map to say, eh, one. I, 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 Yamiya <laughs> 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 Yo, I'm 
law and also your money four years, your money two years, a tier and this and two on the crawl on the chair. Oh, my name is Yadassi. Yadassi. Unsa media. Moshi. Oh, no, I think it's a last call now for you to wrap up. But before you go, you know, you can't watch him. It was. Yeah, yeah, can say. Send ya a bit much, will be by party, especially places are on a book. Can to say that and this is stronghold and no budget, and I'm so no need to say why I'm But to say, oh, no, say no, 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 places I no, I didn't no, 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 it will be per se or no, it was one. I know also you are open to any competition, but I young quantity, and we do a cry at the money for our coffee. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, I mean, I'm talking about politically, politically, exactly. I'm a big break in that culture of silence in exactly. And actually, it's even not me, me, one and a five cluster of constituency. Wow, and our first one yet to me, a break, hoping to take the other four mm. in the next election if well managed. Mm. Uh -huh. And I believe say proposal, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, executive, you know, movie, I won't say, and okay, and doing for my plan, I had the way now because leadership of the party, you know, and so far, me per se. MPP for you know, mess there, say, a seminar better about you know. Yeah, you know, holistic mm. because his excellence and another don't go for the cast in between after election was sick. We must look out for a democracy that will travel into 2030 years, mm. and by that, Nipana Yeshia Huninano, there will be thousands of ministers out mm. of that, mm. and there would have been about 20 presidents and the 20 vice president through that time and to say it me pop part in home by me core and then the good thing is that or science say that will make ghana comparable to malaysia mm -hmm. china mm -hmm. India. Honorable, mm. I mean, I saw calling you to us. I saw we are deep. A uh, better last call. Hello, good morning. Hello, morning. I'll be the Jew. My car boy room. Hey, you. That's my boy room. I am a boy room. And the one says, I'm a boy room. I am a boy room. If you have to get a new car, I need the one last person. I am a man who is a Kuya. Oh, no. I'm a Kuya. I'm a Kuya. I'm a Kuya. Ah, my friend, 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 I am a crapper the <laughs> And the president, the minute wa 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 group of people now have been pushing at too He said, "Oh, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, na, and you remember how we can't hear na a million drama, my pal. And trust me, because of that statement, you two are very naturally. We be able to have a chair president, you know. So we be able to have any money out of from that day, man, go and feel him. Sir, why? Because I was so satisfied and comfortable. Say, let me go, just work for my party." Because of age on my side, one day, one day, so long as we protect the party, mm. no, your turn will do what will come. come. Mm. And then he cited former ministers, mm -hmm. former MPs, mm -hmm. former MMDCs, putting them together, and they were professionals of about 5,000. Wow. Plus, or more. Um, yeah, the doctors, the yeah. lawyers, all that uh, they can also take position. Mm. And the MPP could boost of about ten thousand capable personalities uh, um, 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 are yes. um, 
mm. and liken yourself to the shoes of the president mm. and you needed just about 2,000 or even less, yeah. how would you do it? If From the state where you need 20 yeah. or 19 for cabinet, how would you do it? Factoring the regional balance, mm. the tribal balance, whatever balance yeah. that yeah. you yeah. ought to yeah. go through. And the lobby. You understand? In so the presidency should be spared. Mm. We should see ourselves that we are swimming to a cross river. Mm. In the village, you carry your bag up mm. and then you swim. By mm. the time you get up, the body there, a bit for, for, but on so time, and, 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 and in five minutes, once you dress up, you, will, okay. you can chest out in our call the next village. Wow. You understand? And Mr. MPP4. Yeah, we are doing very, very, very well. Communication is so about communicating. Mm. But yeah, mm. we have enough substance mm. to convince mm. Ghanaians and say, I'm part mm. of to Abafu. Wow, thank you. There, there, there wouldn't have any better time to wrap up this show. I really love the last words of Honorable uh, Kufa Makohini. He is the MP for Atibua Mantin and also a member of the vetting committee. I, I really love those words. And, and I'm, I'm not even moved to repeat my quote. I mean, what he said was just touching. If you're crossing a river, you just protect whatever you're carrying, and then you get your luggages protected. Your body might get wet, but uh, once you're out of the river, you get dried up and keep going. You just come back to the same thing. Don't rely too much on what you have already achieved. Keep working on the new things and breaking new grounds. The DVLA Prestige Service Center brings you a procedure service within 30 minutes. You can renew your driver's license. You can get an international driver's license. You can trade your foreign driver's license for a local one, and you can also go there and come out in 30 minutes at the DVLA Prestige Service Center near Cantonment Post Office or the Togo Embassy. You can also call them on 0302 746 760. Go there and work out prestigiously just in 30 minutes. My name is Abedienim. I would like to thank all of you for being part of this show. I thank Safo, Iman Reninsin, Focus, Kenneth and Japan, my boss, Bente, and all of you who made this show a success. We'll come your way same time tomorrow, and we're making way for Amor Fawachi. God bless you, and God bless Ghana. We're out of here.